In this week's Signal Minutes, W4 build shutting down, a new beta release, and of course our creator spotlight, game of the week, and tip of the week. Welcome to Signal Minutes, your weekly news video for good related news. I'm Voilin, and let's get building. W4 build is shutting down its services for non-enterprise customers. This news recently got shared in an email to the users of W4 build and for the people who are not aware of what it actually is, it's a CI/CD system specifically aimed at automation of building Godot projects. And for the people who are still kind of confused about this, if you take a look at their site right now, you can see that their pricing is gone for W4 build, which previously used to look like this. There used to be a free tier in which you had 180 credits a month, which you could choose for building your projects, and with the other tiers priced at $10, $50, and $400, with enterprise customers being to discuss. This also comes closely to some of the news from GitHub, which is planning on changing their pricing plans for using the CI/CD system. W4 Build has been used to build thousands of builds by hundreds of users, and they'll continue to do so, but only for enterprise users. For as normal developers, we are in luck, however, as they will be open sourcing the W4 build program in the near future. We will soon have more information on what this exactly like will entail this entire change as soon as they update the site. So in the next single minute, I'll probably go more into details of exactly what will be changing. But it's looking forward to having a good CI CD build tool specifically for Godot projects. Also, it's just for W4 builds, the other um, W4 cloud and W4 consoles won't have anything changed to them. And before going over to the creator spotlight, I quickly want to plug my coffee page. If you want to support these videos, Signal Minute, support the video editor I'm building and support my other videos that I make on this channel, you can go to my coffee page and become one of these amazing people. These people have been making everything on this channel possible and all the other projects that I do and I couldn't keep going without them. So thank you very much. And there will be a link in the description. And then over to this week's Creator Spotlight. And I again have kind of a special one for you because it's not only a Godot related channel. Clear Code is a channel with all kinds of game dev related features. Not only Godot tutorials, but also Python tutorials. This channel's content is mainly about creating projects from start to finish. And each video is a tutorial to set up the basics of a certain game, such as Snake, Stardew Valley, and Zelda. If you have some spare hours in a weekend or so, and you want to learn to work with Godot, and or you want to create a game from start to finish, be certain to check out this channel. As usual, there will be a link in the description. And in other news, we have yet another beta release for 4.6. This will most likely be the last beta release of this year, since the holiday season is right around the corner. In this release, we got around 200 bug fixes, and since it's a beta release, there's not really much more to say about it since, well, yeah, it's only bug fixes. Right now, there are only about eight issues left, which are blocking the 4.6 release, and around 10 very bad issues, which do need fixing before we can even dream of a first release candidate, but it's coming soon. Well, soon, next year, but probably end of January. And for the people who like to see my kids in these episodes, well, here they are. I, I just cannot get them to fall asleep. But anyway, but anyway, if you want to support the Godot development, then don't forget to donate this month as they're trying to raise more donations during the month of December. With that quick thing out of the way, for the people who missed last week's video, a quick summary. Starting next year, 2026, Signal Emitted will be bi-weekly, meaning that each month there will be only two episodes. This decreases my workload and frees up more time to hopefully improve the quality of this series, but also to spend more time on my older video series and to work more on my video editor that I'm making in Godot. And hopefully I'll finally be able to work on the game as well next year. But of course, when there's big news, there will be a special episode to go more in depth about that specific news topic. But anyway, let's go over to game of the week for which I bring to you Upload Labs. Upload Labs is a science fiction management game in which you build and optimize your computer systems by using a node-based system. Control the resource flow and data pipelines whilst hacking, researching, solving system puzzles and developing AI systems. This game is free and available on Steam right now, so give it a go. After watching the rest of this Signal Admitted episode, of course, um, please stick around. Because right now we'll go into the tip of the week. And I have a great one for people who are working on multiplayer games or multiplayer projects. Did you know that you don't need to open multiple Godot editors or have multiple PCs to test multiplayer functionality? If you go to the debug menu tab and press the customize run instances, you can enable 
multiple instances and go up to 20 instances. You can adjust to run arguments and feature text if necessary and you have yourself a kind of decent multiplayer testing environment. Inside the Godot editor, you can see your sessions debug info displayed in different tabs. So debugging is also not really an issue with so many instances. Let me know in the comments if you knew about this feature or if you ha even have a better tip to share with other Godot developers. And yes, it is the last Signal Mid episode of this year. Next episode will go live on January 15th, but there will be more videos coming out for me this year normally, normally like um, stay at home that of two kids. I can't promise anything sadly enough. For now, I really want to thank you very much for watching Signal Mid this year and making this series kind of popular because the views have been kind of great on each episode. So yeah, I'll see you in all my other videos and if you only watch the second limited videos, I'll see you next year. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.